Good morning, YouTubers, friends, followers, subscribers, my Trevorites, lovers, haters, those of you that are waste of spacers. And if I miss it out, people will say, what about the chicken chasers? Yep, yep. Thank you all very much for continuing to support me on this channel. It means a lot. But as I say, if you're watching this video right now and you've not yet subscribed, why not? It's free. Well, it's Tuesday morning. And I would like to point out my son has made it to school today. He has indeed. Someone said yesterday, but you can't blame the teachers for bank holidays. Yes, I know. I know you can't blame the teachers for bank holidays. Yes. But should that not be the day when they do their online training? You know, at the end of the day, you know, if you can do online degrees and you can teach your kids at home and you can study masters from a computer, why can't teachers do online training? <laughs> exactly. Why take a day off school? Do it in your own time. Anyway, let's get back to things. Tuesday. So, emails flooding in, which they were from yesterday. Um, and you know what? See, no matter how much I try and avoid the subject of the royal family, and every morning I get up, I look through the media and I look at all the stories. I'm going to be honest with you today and check it yourself. I went through the, the media, the MSM. Each, each tabloid today has at least eight stories about the royal family. There's a, every paper's got at least five about the coronation. I mean, the media is awash with the coronation of the royal family. And no matter how much you try and avoid it, if you're talking about the news, you're going to have to talk about it. Well, here's one thing I'd like to point out. Prince William. Yes, the Prince of Wales, who at the coronation concert gave a little speech. And I want to point this out. He was asked, not on stage, but he was asked about his brother. And he said... With a wink, well, we're very much not a racist family. Everything that's been said about the UK, the British royal family, the Commonwealth royal family, everything that's been said about it has been a lie. It's been clickbait to sell. To monetize the royal family from a hatred standpoint, to keep there. Because if you, and, and you know what, regardless if you like the hostage and the handler or not, here's the truth. When you leave an institution which you've been part of all your life, you have no selling point apart from that institution. You've got no, you've got no value, you've got no qualifications, you might have money, but you have nothing of value to add to the public other than, do you want to hear a story about Papa? Yep. Do you want to hear a story about Mum? That's all you have to offer. Anyway, here we go. Moving on. Prior to the coronation being screened, with millions of people across the world watching, they did a rehearsal. And guess what? Check this out. During the rehearsals, in the most sacred part of the rehearsals, which the, uh, where King Charles got anointed, a man from the BBC tried to film it on his mobile phone and was kicked out of rehearsals and was not allowed in during the coronation. Can you believe that? The BBC, the Bias Corporation, tried to secretly film a sacred part of the coronation, and he was caught by the king and kicked out. So there we go. Can't even trust them, can we? Nah, no wonder. Yeah. And there's now talks in the House of Lords to completely abolish the license fee and for the BBC to start taking on advertisements and to find another way for revenue. So that looks good for those that are being ripped off daily. So there we go. Great news, isn't it? What else have I got here? Right. Now this bit we know, but I'm going to give you a little bit more substance. Because I've been seeing this today and I've been seeing emails coming in from different people in the US and different people here and putting two together. Right. So we all know that Horrid left um, the coronation and he was supposed to have went straight to the airport. But there's rumours coming in now that he stopped off at Buckingham Palace. He didn't see anyone in his family. Don't know why he stopped off and then went to the airport. I'm not sure if the stop off at Buckingham Palace is true. Because if it was true, we would all know by now. But here's the weirdest thing. I read yesterday that the hostage's um, wife, the handler, um, allegedly she went and picked lemons from her garden and could bake the lemon cake. Now I'm thinking, what type of a four-year-old, a young kid, has a lemon cake for his birthday? 
And that, and and why would that even get out? Would that be like, can you let people know? Can you can you let people know that I baked my own cake? I, I actually chose the the fruits from my own garden. That's that's bullshit, as well as in my opinion, clearly. But here's another part which I find strange. Archie spent his birthday with close family and friends. Who? Who in the family? Tell me who in the family. Who? Who in the family? Which family members were there? Because no one from Harry's family would have been there. And she hates her family. So maybe one person. So basically Archie spent his birthday with his mum and his grandma. You can't... Uh, you have to let your child grow up and then say, Mummy, um, where's all my cousins and where's my family? Oh, they're all bad? Really? Mummy, is it not just you then? Because if everyone else is bad and you're saying you're good, but everyone else is really nice. And yet I'm still wearing this handcuff. Mum, can you let... Can I have the key? Um, so it's a bit strange. The whole thing's a bit of a mess, isn't it? What else have I got here? This morning it comes... It's very apparent, and I'll leave a link in the description... That the hostage's book, The Spur, the ghostwriter, who was called J.R. Moringer, has now released things saying when he was working with Harry, he was pulling his hair out. He was exasperated. He was getting calls at 2 a.m. in the morning and, and Harry telling him, you must remove this and you must put this in and you must remove... I mean, it must have been an absolute nightmare to work with him. Um, well, then again, the soldiers that worked with him were in danger. So people who worked with him in the book would have been hard. It would have been hard work. But there is loads of positive comments coming in from across the world. Different world leaders, royalty saying they had a fantastic time. Um, all colours, creeds and religions were, were celebrated by the United Kingdom. Probably the most tolerant country in the world. So there we go. It's been a great day so far, hasn't it? The weather doesn't look too good, actually. Yeah, a bit wet outside. Yeah, but all good, people. All good. Listen, Tuesday today. I've got a few things to get on with, but other than that, have a great day, everyone. My hair's a mess, isn't it? I'm a mess. Have a great day. Stay safe. And thank you all for those of you that do support this channel. Take care.